I'm Donna with Donna's Things. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for taking your time joining in, coming to see what we're doing over here at Donna's Things. I really do appreciate it. Of course, if you are returning, you know my heart. I appreciate you and your time also. So I was going through my fabric stash about two weeks ago, my fabric collection, cleaning it out. And I tallied up all the fabric that I have. I did it by yardage, type of fabric, and so on. And I concluded that I have 68 yards of fabric. Now, I know that's not a lot of fabric, especially when some of the pieces are four yard pieces of fabric. But for me, 68 yards of fabric, my credenza is full, even though it's not very big, my credenza is full. I felt overwhelmed because I don't like to have a large fabric stash. I do like to keep fabric, but I like to sew my fabric up when I buy it. So when I went through it, I have several one yard pieces of fabric could be a yard and a quarter and that's because when i find something i really like i will buy extra excuse me or i may go back to the store for something else and i'll see something that i really like that i've already sewn up and i'm like oh let me get a little bit more of that but i have decided i won't be doing that again because for real for real I am not going to make anything else. Once I make something once, maybe twice, I'm not really going to make it again. So I went on the hunt for somewhere or someone that I could give quite a bit of yardage to. Now, it's nice fabric. I'm not giving away any junk. But those one yard pieces, I am not going to use. Um, it's probably about 10 of those. Um, and then I have some pieces that are linings and stuff, of course, you want to have. But when it really boiled down out of the 68 yards of fabric, there's about 50 yards that I would keep in my stash and probably actually use over a period of time so i have not yet decided where i was going to donate those pieces of fabric and honestly if anyone on here is maybe a beginner sewist and you just want to have some fabric in your stash that you can grab because you want to learn how to sew with crepe, you want to learn how to sew with knit, you want to learn how to sew with gabardine, just hit me up on, um, you know, message me. Well, you can't, this is not Instagram, but say something to me in the comments on this YouTube video and um, or reach out to me. My email is in the description box and in the about box, I'm sorry, and email me and you can have the fabric. The only thing you would have to do is pay for whatever the shipping would be for me to get it to you if you're not locally um, by me here in Virginia. You are more than welcome. And like I said, trust me, it is not junk. So yes, I am wearing my Fabric Hut shirt today. Now, I don't advertise for Fabric Hut. It's just been my store forever, forever. And I have one of their shirts, but I do like to let you know where I get my fabric from. If you've been watching my channel, you know that 90% of my fabric comes from Fabric Hut. But they did another warehouse sale. Their warehouse sales, all the fabric back there or in the warehouse where we're privileged to, is $2.95 a yard with minimum two yard cuts. Well, you know, we don't really buy two yards anyway, except a lot of mine are, but I'll tell you why. So I went yesterday, um, which was, well, it wasn't yesterday. I went Friday, 
for the sneak peek of the sale and I bought 17 yards of fabric and then I went on Saturday and bought 26 more yards of fabric. Now, why, why am I buying that much fabric? What? 40 something yards of fabric. Why am I doing that when I have so much that I'm trying to get rid of? Like I said, that that I already have are nice pieces, but pieces I know that I'm not going to sew. However, I was able to get some really nice fabrics today. And I'm going to show you, I keep saying today, Friday and Saturday. Now, I'm going to show you, I'm not going to show you all the yardage like that and take up a lot of time, but I am going to show you some of these pieces and then you'll see the bulk of why I have so many. So I'm going to start with this first piece right here. This is a... Um, A camo it's like a twill it's kind of lighter than the twill but it has the feel and the grid of a twill the one of the owners I forget what he called it a rib a rib something I'm so sorry I forgot but anyway this is what the camo looks like I'll be making a jacket out of it I didn't choose the pattern yet but I'll be making a jacket this has been washed already and it's washed up really, really, really nice. And hanging next to it was this right here. Now this is more of just a cotton, but it's a, um, this is like a cheetah print. And I bought, well, I bought three yards of the camo, 54 inches wide. This I bought two yards because it's the same color group as this and i am either going to line the ja jacket with it for a little bit of fun or this will just be the facings that are on the jacket i haven't really decided but i thought that was cute together this has been washed also another really nice piece i got is this camo now this is a green and black and navy camo look but as you can see it has these nice white lotus flowers in it. So I got three yards of this too. Not really sure what I'm going to make, but probably a jacket. Now I haven't washed this piece yet. So it's similar to the first one. So I'm hoping it washes up just the same. The other piece I got, this, um, this right here, I'm ready to make now. And the green, the um, the tan camo, I'm going to make like any day now. And this right here. Now, this one is, um, it's not a knit. It's kind of like, it feels like a um, cotton sateen with some stretch in it. And this one looks like this. It's black with this like gold grid lines. I bought three yards of this and that's because um, I wanna make a sort of like a, um, not a sweatsuit, but like the jogging pants, the fitted jogging pants and some type of pullover top. I haven't chosen the pattern for this yet um but this this one and the beige camo i'll be sewing up really really soon i also picked up this chambray and you're familiar with chambray fabric it's just a black looks like a dark gray i bought two yards of this because i have this little shirt in mind that i want to make and then i picked up this piece of cotton just two yards it's a black cotton. It's a really nice um, cotton. And it has these circles in it. These, it's like gray and the gray is a metallic. Just two yards of this. Um, wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, but I thought it would be nice. It might end up on the, outs on the inside of a black jacket or something like that. Or it might end up being a nice vest. But I picked those up. I also picked up um, 
this black and white I don't know it's not really a leopard um, but it is really nice it has a teeny teeny sheen to it it's a knit nice stretchy knit I picked up three yards of this because um, you know three yards is good for me I can get pretty much any dress that I want out of three yards so this will end up being a nice dress i don't know if this will happen this year or not but i thought it was really nice and when we're talking three dollars a yard these fabrics are really nice this is they don't have no no junk in this store the other one i picked up is like a black and cream stripe this one has teeny 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 bit of stretch but it's basically a crepe I picked up three yards of this. Not sure what I'll make with it. Probably a blouse. I'm thinking about a blouse with a black collar and black cuffs. I'm not really sure. Not a dress though. So that's probably what this will be. Then I picked up this piece. This is like a beige of the crepe. Um, it's a stretch knit, but it's a crepe crepe on one side and then you're like knit on the other now I should have gotten a few more colors of this because this is one fabric that I love it's three yards when the spring comes I don't know this could be a pants and a top this could be a dress this could be skirts I mean I don't know what I'll do with it but I picked up three yards but I love the color and I love this fabric then I got over here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got seven knits and then one of, well, the seven knits are for pajamas. I don't know if I'll have them ready for the holiday time, but I will have them ready by the first of the year. And these are for my nieces. So each, I have these different, this is one. This is one. This pumpkin color tie dye. This green color tie dye. This purple and pink camo. This blue tie dye. This purple, yellow, red, see it? Tie dye. Now those are for my nieces. I really, I only have um, four uh, nieces that I'll make these from, but I have seven choices um, of fabrics to use. These are all two yards each, and that's because all I'm making are the pajama bottoms, and then I might buy them like camisole t-shirt type thing, not not t-shirts, but camisoles in the t-shirt fabric that you wear under your clothes because all of us has, have houses that I think get kind of hot in there or we're hot in there, whichever that goes. But I'm, I know I'm not going to feel like making the bottoms and any type of camisole. So I only bought two yards of it. If I was going to do matching tops, I would have built a little bit more. But then if I feel like doing a camisole type top, I will have enough. So those seven of those. And then I bought this blue. This doesn't really have any stretch in it. I don't, I didn't know what the kind of, kind of fabric it is. It has a denim look, but it is some type of cotton. It's not flannel but it's, it would be closest to flannel. I did buy four yards of this because I have three nephews that um, I'll make the pajama pants for also. So I had a really good time in the store today. I um, met one young lady and 
we kind of shopped together a little bit, you know. Um, there was another lady in there that has a, um, a studio where she teaches to sew. So it was nice meeting her and talking with her. There was a, a lady in there, two women that I already know that was shopping. And then one lady in there that recognized me from my YouTube channel. So I was like, oh my gosh, not only did I shop today and have a little bit of fun, I got to meet people right here locally in the sewing community. So I'm excited about that. But yes, I have 43 yards of fabric. And like I said, if you've been watching my channel and you know me, by the end of the year, all of this fabric will be gone because I'm just constantly sewing. I have plans for, um, you know, for what I'm doing, but I do have a tan and black group that I'm going to finish up first. And then I do have evening wear, kind of like us, like, after five wear that I started last year, I ran into um, a new season, so I didn't finish it. It's just a coat, a dress, and this little jacket. So the black and tan group will get finished up. I'll be throwing the pajamas in, you know, just little bits and bits. But I'm going to deviate from my little plans for a moment because I'm definitely going to sew up that camo jacket um, any day now because I'm excited to see that. And like I said, the pajamas. I Last year, I forget what time of year it was, I did a 12-hour sew-a-thon, you know, just with myself. And I think that's how I'm going to handle these pajama bottoms. I think I'm going to choose a night because I started at like 10 that night which is what I like to do. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for the PJs, for the bottoms. I'm gonna choose a night and I'm gonna sew through the night or set myself another 12 hours and just go ahead and knock these bottoms out because they just, you know, your front, your back, elastic in the waist, hem on the machine. I don't, I probably won't sew them on my serger I may. Once I see how each piece sews, I may sew them on my machine with the zigzag stitch and then, of course, clean them up on my serger. But that's my fabric haul. And like I said, I have an email address in the about box on my on this channel. If you're interested in any of these fabrics that I want to give away, you can let me know. Now, I don't really want to mail one piece. So what I would do is just um, Zoom with you and let you see it or take pictures and let you see it. Like I said, they're nice fabrics, but I know that I'm not going to use them. Otherwise, I'm thinking of a middle school that will take them for their students or, um, you know, you can always do the thrift store. I did find a really nice one that puts all the fabric in a bag and just sells it as a bundle. So somebody would hit the jackpot if they did. But however, um, trust me, I will not have almost a hundred yards or a hundred yards of fabric in my stash. That's too much for me and it would just drive me bonkers. So look um, forward to seeing these things made up because it will be coming soon. Some of it might hold off for the spring, but this tan camo, the camo with the lotus and the stretch black with the gold grids will definitely get made up shortly. The rest of it will probably just get put away. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And I want to say thank you because every now and then someone will order fabric from, um, from the Fabric Hut. And I know that because if you ordered it, you, you pretty much have let me know yourself. I have no um, dealings, no commission or anything like that with Fabric Hut. It's just 
they I've been shopping there for over 30 years. It's just my fabric store. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hit that like button, share my channel, subscribe if you will. I definitely would appreciate that. But ring that bell so you can get the notifications when all of these beautiful fabrics and other plans that I have, other things that are in the making show up. I do a video every Tuesday. I try to do Friday shows every other. That doesn't always happen, but those Tuesday videos will surely be out. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.